I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to uh, build a small ingestion framework on how we will be ingesting the data that is publicly collected data to GCS bucket from Compute Engine that is virtual machine. So to talk in to talk about in more detail the services which we'll be using for this demo is Compute Engine virtual machine and uh, GCS storage bucket as well as we'll be running some Python as well as shell script. So this Python and shell script I'll be taking or I'll be utilizing it from uh, uh, Google Cloud Platform GitHub repositories. I'll be showing it and I'll be explaining walking you over the code as well and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how to ingest the data to GCS bucket from during runtime as well. So this is a small demo, small ingestion framework uh, which is uh, which is implemented throughout the industry. So without any further delay, let's get started. So this video is nothing of theoretical side. It is completely of uh, practical implementations. So first without any further delay, uh, we'll get uh, started. So first we will be creating the compute engine. So I'm coming into my Google Cloud platform and I'm searching for compute. So you have to click on this compute engine and you have to create on simple instance a simple uh, demo instance. Uh, I'm in my free trial account, so I'll be configuring all the uh, GPU virtual machine like uh, machine related to everything will be of low instance. First, I'll be giving my instance name. My instance name is compute iPhone 7. So if you wanted to add labels, you can add label that will be in a demo. Sorry, it's demo. Um, ingestion ingestion framework so i'll save it and i'll be selecting region as us central one and my primary zone is us central 1a for gen uh, machine configuration i'll be using the normal one that is the first generation n1 with minimum configuration all those things will be minimal configuration and then you have to uh, compute engine default service account my compute engine default service account is 6175820 this one I'll be using the same service account and uh, in access scope I'll be using uh, allow full access to all cloud APIs for this particular demo and rest I'll be keeping everything as same so this is my monthly estimate and this is my uh, hourly estimate so now I'll be creating this uh, creating this instance so before I well, let it create on this meanwhile I'll show you what uh, permission should my service account have so for that I'll be going into my IAM page IAM so IAM and admin like I have showed you one service account no? so 6711 some starting default compute engine service account you have to configure two roles to it to do this job I have already configured it one is storage admin the other one is compute admin so this two roles should be configured to this uh, service account this is default compute engine default service account make sure you have you have um, provided these two roles to this default service account before uh, uh, like before executing our before proceeding with next steps so meanwhile we'll see yeah compute engine is already created if you wanted to see what is the configurations you can just click on it and go through to understand in detail so what is the name what is the instance id what is the description creation time what is the status zone and the labels this is for demo ingestion framework list everything what is the machine configuration all those things will be as part of and rest everything it is for default one so we didn't uh, this is our storage related details compute 7 images uh, debian 710 so size is 10 GB default this is of deep, like a minimum size configuration for our storage in this virtual machine so once after we completed this step right uh, we will be deleting this compute engine so if you see the service account so this service account will have all the necessary configuration the store two roles I told you right two roles one is storage admin and compute admin make sure that is present inside this service account now you can do SSH and go into this virtual machine. So this will take some couple of seconds. Meanwhile, I'll be following this step. So be, uh, every I'll be giving all this uh, um, all this in my 
uh, description description box you can take it from there so first sudo app get update so go here to go to this virtual machine and get up uh, execute this command this will update all the packages inside this uh, version so now we will see what is the python 3 version installed in this virtual machine it is 3.7.3 and uh, we have to install git so we will be passing this command to install git on it sudo app get install git so to get the installed git version we will be executing this command git underscore iphone iphone version so git version is 2.20.1 so now i i have already checked what is the python version is and now we wanted to clone specific url that url you can find find it from here training and data analytics data analyst if you see here we will be using uh, for this demo we will be using cpp under lab 2b and we will be using all this command basically we are working with earthquakes uh, uh, earthquake data set so in, going forward i'll explain you what is the code what are we trying to do so now copy this uh, github url and clone it inside our virtual machine to clone you could use git clone control v and hit enter it will take some time to load uh, to clone the entire repo or entire folder into this uh, compute engine that is uh, virtual in virtual machine instance so as you already know this virtual machine have 10 uh, 10 gb of storage capacity so let it load so you can fast forward this uh, basically i'm not doing anything here so you can just fast forward it while you are going through this uh, video so once it has cloned now so if you do ls you can see cd training data analyst cd training data analyst and you can do ls on it now you have to go into this uh, cpb100 that is the folder here so go through it and list list what are the file now we will be using lab2 lab2 b and it entered list all this so this are the script file will be in what is command.sh earthquakes.sm ingest.sh this is our ingestion framework uh, script uh, shell script which will which will be present inside this ingest.sh and the installed underscore missing.sh will have all the uh, dependencies to execute this transform.python script file so now go to the uh, notepad and try to get this get this so vi2 if you wanted to view what is present inside uh, um, ingest.sh that is ingest.sh so what is it? it is installing it and it is removing the network remove older copy of file if it is exits so it removes all the older file older file earthquakes.csv now it downloads the latest data from usgs this is the government website um, related to earthquake data wget http all those things and it will save in the earthquakes.csv now come out of this virtual machine enter now we wanted to go with the next step so now we will be executing bash.ingestsh to execute that script file bash.ingest.sh so you, you can see the time now 1147 1149 according to usd time we have downloaded we have created a new earthquakes.csv file and we have been installing the dependencies for executing our python script file basically all the packages like uh, uh, pandas numpy matplotlib so this will take again take some 20 to 30 seconds so you can just fast forward it uh, you can just fast forward it or wait for 20 to 30 seconds let it execute then we'll be using this ls minus lrd command so uh, by the time it running i'll execute i'll tell what we are going to do uh, we'll be using gsutil commands for accessing our uh, cloud storage so first we i'm using gsutil make bucket the class is standard and the location is us east one and this is my uh, bucket data bucket name and now now i am giving all the users as object viewer role 
I'm assigning object viewer role to all the users to this bucket whatever the bucket which I'm creating then I'm making copy with quicks dot asset dot star what does it means is whatever the file name which starts with at quicks dot uh, all the file names will be copied into this destined location that is in GCS bucket this is what we are going to do it this is what this injection frame ingestion framework is all about so it has completed it now we will come and we will execute this ls iphone lrt this will give us the latest uh, uh, update of our the, uh, the file of the folder so if you see we have created one earthquakes.csv at the late uh, time is april 17 11 14 and the latest one so if you go to your and uh, you can execute python3 transform.py so before executing that i just wanted to tell you what is present inside it so we are importing that csv file earthquake.csv request package numpy matplotlib and base map so we are creating one class that is earthquake and we are getting self timestamp latitude longitude and magnitude all those things and inside this function get earthquake data we are passing this url so we are passing this url so we'll be framing that url somewhere here uh, if you see that url and out file and uh, create png this is the main function create png is a function basically we are creating a function we are creating the uh, we are getting that earthquake data details and we are just creating one uh, uh, picture where we are want, we'll be plotting all our uh, uh, data related to earthquakes what is the latitude what is the longitude what is that uh, all the other details like uh, when uh, when did the earthquake happen the, all the details regarding to the earthquake so if the magnitude all those things will be marking us and we this is just an uh, the output will be in the form of dot png file so this is what we are doing here and uh, we'll now we'll be creating a new file we have to execute this python transform the main objective of this framework is not about uh, uh, explaining what is dot shell script what is the shell script is doing what is the python script file is doing the main objective is not that i have explained what is it all about the i have given you the overall outline so the main objective is how to do it as part how to ingest data to gcs bucket from compute engine that is through virtual machine that is the main objective so that shell on dot python script all those things i will explain you or i will create a separate file a separate video out of it uh, not explaining this uh, shell script on dot this python file i'll be uh, implementing a own of own on own and i'll explain you on that so i have executed that python 3 file now we'll be creating one uh, uh, shell script so inside that shell script we'll be placing all this gs util commands so I have placed you uh, place via import. Now I'll be copying gsutil this full uh, this command. Click insert. Click on I. Now insert it. Again gsutil earthquake data. Again gsutil copy earthquake. So this is what the main objective is for this demo session. So we'll be saving it now and executing exit out of that terminal so now we wanted to see give the uh, project id or what is the name of that uh, terminal the terminal in the sense you know, like this dollar uh, project we will be passing it as part of our runtime so my uh, dead bucket name is learn gcp this is what uh, the variable this dev underscore project underscore id will have this variable to cross check you can do um, echo uh, echo dollar dev underscore project underscore id if you see you can get this learn gcp dot pd demo and uh, you will get a name like this this is this will be our bucket name this will be our bucket name we have to cross check at the end of our uh, after creating this video we'll cross check 
so now we'll give the latest update of the file we'll see what is the latest update in this folder so if you see we have created this um, import data inside bucket.sh and this is the one after uh, executing that python file we have got this png dot image picture image we have got it and um, we have to give permissions to this uh, import data inside bucket.sh it doesn't have the enough permission so we'll be giving a ch mode 755 oh, okay the file name is import this one inside bucket dot sh yeah now we can uh, we can see whether we have given necessary access yeah we have given necessary access to that file and now we can execute this uh, import we can execute this bash import hopefully it should run now uh, it is creating the bucket name like this yeah it has done now to cross check we have to go to our bucket uh, cloud storage bucket and we have to uh, see the file name uh, see the bucket name learn gcp under iphone pde iphone bucket demo earthquake data so bucket is cloud storage search for this bucket name learn gcp uh, pde bucket demo earthquake if you see here we can see three different files we have to see yeah earthquakes.csv this will be as part of our shell script and this will be as part of our uh, earthquakes.python uh, script so if you wanted to see the final output copy this public url and place paste it inside paste it in the browser and you can see yeah this is what earthquakes from 2000 22 4 10 that is april 10 to till april 17 that is still up to date what is the quick uh, details what is the all those things we'll be seeing as part of our uh, uh, in this final image so that's it for today's video i hope you learn something new out of it as i told you earlier uh, the main objective is how to build this uh, ingestion framework and how to um, how to store or save the data in GCS bucket that was the main objective then the on the shell script and Python script was not part of this uh, uh, part of this video it is just I, I'm, I'm, I'm I will I used what is already existed in that Google Cloud platform so I hope you learn something new from this video and basically if you wanted uh, uh, to delete like and I uh, forgot to tell you one thing basically delete this instance once after once after uh, the mission is once after you are completed or accomplished your task so click on it and before there you can close this leave and delete this instance from it yeah so that's it for this video i hope you learned something new from this video i'll give you all this commands executable commands in the description description box you can take a, take take from it and you can do it on your own so i hope you learned something new out of this video uh, if you have any questions or doubt please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible and uh, please do like comment and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics uh, we need your support and uh, i'm trying to do my best on provide like on learning the gcp and whatever i learn i'm trying just trying to give it back to the community so yeah I'll meet you in the next video with some interesting content. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.